No. Are you interested in using Notion, but you're just not sure how to get started? We're going to get into that in today's video. Hey everybody, I'm Brandon Gustafson. I own and operate two assisted living facilities and I created this channel to help people just like you learn the ins and outs of investing in assisted living. Welcome to Assisted Living Investing. <laughs> In our last video, we talked about uh, what is Notion. Uh, so if you are have ever wondered what Notion is, go and give that video a watch and, and let me know what you learned from that. Um, if I missed something in the brief overview of what Notion is and uh, let me know. But in today's video, we're gonna be getting into uh, how you can set up a free account. I'm gonna walk you through that process uh, so you, you know how to do it and can get things started on your own. So let's get into that. All right, so the first thing we got to do is you're going to open up an internet browser. Um, so I've got Google opened here, and um, you're going to just need to go to their website. Now, the website for Notion is actually notion.so, um, which is interesting. Um, <laughs> so I actually tried to do a little bit of uh, in, uh, research on why it was a .so. So .so, .so domains are for actually the country of Somalia. Um, and I could not figure out why Notion uses a .so domain. I could not find a really good answer answer for it. I do know that they own the .com domain, but they have not um, moved everything over to .com. Um, I did see that there was a Notion team member who has noted that they are planning to move everything over to a .com domain, but they just don't have the bandwidth in order to do that quite yet. So. That's the plan. So what you need to do is go to notion.so. It will actually redirect you to notion.so if you type in notion.com. So just want to make sure that you're aware that that's something that's probably going to happen for you um, as you go in and, and start looking at this. So once you are on the website, what you're going to do is click one of these big blue buttons that says try Notion for free, try Notion free. So you just click on that. And from here, it's going to ask you to sign up using either uh, Google or an Apple account. Um, so if you have one of those and you're comfortable um, linking those things to it, then simply enough, you would just click on connect with Google, continue with Apple, um, or you could also type in an email address. So if I were to type in, you know, my email address right there and hit continue with email, it's going to send me a link um, to my email address there. It's going to send you a, a code um, to your email. And in my experience, it's actually something like they'll give you four random words and that's your code. Um, you just go in and you grab that and then you paste it in here and you hit create account and then you are able to get in there and start uh, working in your account. Uh, some of the really nice things, once you've done that and logged in, you're into your account, which is awesome. Like it's, it's that simple. That's how you set up the free account with Notion. I did wanna get into a little bit of the pricing structure. So I'm gonna pull that up here on the website um, so that you can look at it as well. There are basically four different types of plans that you can use when you're looking at Notion. And this right here gives you a really good overview of it. I uh, just wanna clarify some of these things for you though. So the free one, and honestly, the free account is all you're going to need um, <laughs> as you're trying to get things up and running. Uh, maybe one day you'll look at needing something a little bit more robust and needing to pay for something, but the free account is going to give you everything that you need to, to get started, especially in the beginning where you just aren't sure exactly how to use Notion. Um, so you can just get in there. You can share this with up to five different people. Um, it will sync across all your devices. So I use Notion on my phone. I use it on my iPad. I use it on my computers um, and, and help it kind of just use, you know, track all the work that I have using that future log concept um, that I can do. And I'll be on my personal laptop and I will make a note in, in Notion and I'll have it on my work laptop on, on another screen and I can see it make that change. And it's pretty real time. It happens very quickly. And so that's something like you don't have a lag on it. It goes pretty quick. And so it's, it's, it's really nice how it syncs up with things. Um, but honestly, you're, you're just going to need, this is all you'll need. Um, 
probably forever, <laughs> unless you're building something really robust out and you need to share things. Um, the personal pro one, really one of the big difference there is if you are thinking you're going to be uploading a ton of files um, and things like that, like you want to use this as a repository, uh, a database, so or really just like a folder structure for files and things like that, um, you could do that in Notion. Uh, but if you're going to do a lot of them, you would want to do the personal pro um, uh, membership pricing tier. Um, and the other big thing there is you get unlimited guests. So you can share it with however many people you want. And uh, you also get version history, which I have paid to do to go back and get versions um, before, um, just because I had done a ton of work and I lost something and I can't do that on the free version. So I paid for a month's membership just so I could get the re revision um, stuff on there, the version history, which was extremely helpful. You don't need to do it, but just something that if you are doing a lot of editing and things like that, you need to see something or you're sharing stuff with other people and you need to make sure you have that version control. Um, that would probably be the best use case for this personal pro tier um, as you're doing that. The next one is going to be your team um, section. Sorry, I didn't mean to <laughs> scroll that down. Um, in the team section, um, this is if you're working with larger teams. Um, and I, I'm not going to go into the pricing. You can see that up there on the screen. But um, you can see on there, you're able to do a lot more collaborating and, and working back and forth with people, which if you have a larger team, um, then this is probably the best one for you. Uh, I'm guessing that for those of you watching this channel, um, the free or the personal pro is all you're going to need. Um, you're not a large, a large team or anything like that. But the the team version does give you some uh, flexibility and going in and sharing permissions and and having administrative tools and and things like that. So if you ever need something like that as you grow, just know Notion has the ability to to help you grow and and give you the things that you need. And then there's also an enterprise. Um, version of this so if you had if you felt like that was something that you needed to do then you could go ahead and and look at that so those are the basic uh pricing tiers of notion and what you could expect there they also have you know comparing the plans and features and what that looks like as you go um get into this and you're really trying to figure out which one is going to be best for you again i would suggest that the personal is probably all you need um, you could maybe look at the personal pro in certain instances um, but the chances of you needing to do something more than that, I would say are pretty slim. So just kind of keep that in mind as you go through things. And that's the tutorial. That's kind of how you set up a, an account in Notion, the different types of accounts that you could look at doing and how they work and uh, just to be aware of. So if you found this useful, then make sure you like the video, uh, comment down below, which, which plan you are planning on using and how you're going to use that to help you uh, get involved with your business and help it grow and, and progress. Thanks for watching. Um, I really hope that was useful information for you to kind of get an overview of exactly how that works and what that process is. In our next video, we're going to be getting into how to create a basic to-do list in Notion. Uh, when you get into Notion, it can feel overwhelming. I'm going to show you how you can do something really basic in Notion and get things started um, that way for you. And just a reminder, if you want to learn more about investing in assisted living, make sure you visit me on assistedlivinginvesting.net. I've got free resources out there, a blog, you can set up a consulting call with me and we can start having a conversation, help you be successful as a business owner or with your assisted living facility. And remember, it doesn't take a lot, just, just a little bit. If you keep going, you keep making those little baby step progresses every single day, I promise you that you're going to be successful. Thanks for watching and have a great day.